Hi there, it's um, it's Duncan. I don't know who's um, if anyone's out there. If anyone's stuck at home, I just uh, apologise for taking some time. I'm not so um, au fait with how this uh, this all works, but I trust you are safe and uh, and safely quarantined. Um, I just wanted to chat about um, that picture that I put up, which was um, similar to this little one which is uh, called Conversations at Sea and um, this started as a sketch in my sketchbook uh, during a season when I was um, was really struggling to to work out why nothing was moving and um, I felt like I felt like um, I was in the right boat that I am an artist and I need to create and I need to use the gifts that God has given me, but nothing was moving. And uh, not only was nothing was moving, it was like being in the doldrums. I couldn't see anything. And so I was just um, just really down in my spirit in terms of, I'm sure I should be doing this, but um, but nothing seems to be moving. And sometimes we can get stuck like that uh, in life. And so this picture shows me in a um, in a boat, but what... I don't see in the boat is that there's this angel watching over me as well and um, and I think in the season that we're heading into it's kind of just like that we 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 can't see what's going to happen we are all in our own isolated little boats and uh, we don't know how we're going to come through it and if there's anything out there bigger than ourselves looking after us and I just wanted to take this moment uh, in South Africa it's the day before lockdown we closed down everything on uh, on the on Thursday evening and so from Friday onwards uh, most families will be locked into their homes for 21 days odd which is pretty amazing and in some ways I think many of us looking forward to the changes it brings but obviously it brings a lot of stress about who are you what are you doing with your life? What's important? And those are great questions to ask. And another work that arrived from this was a um, was a sculpt was a painting first. Another painting that I did, which is this one, which I was very lucky to sell to. Um, or was bought by Yellowwoods, which is the Nando's group, uh, and essentially it's called um, "Who Can Be Saved." And what I love about this, this was painted uh, probably about two years ago um, at the time of the sort of the mass migrations and immigrations and all the, the refugees fleeing Africa across the Mediterranean, going to Spain, going to Greece, things like that. And these, some of that, I mean, we all remember that incredibly tragic picture of that little boy washed ashore. And, uh, and the question that arose in my heart was like, we're all in these boats. We're all wondering what life is about, where are we journeying? But here you have uh, real evidence, physical, practical evidence of thousands of people going, risking their lives on these boats. And, um, and uh, who of them can be saved and who gets the right to save them? Because you, we heard stories of, no, they're not allowed to disembark. They've got to stay on their boats and who gets life jackets and it was just incredibly in some ways inhumane but again i painted it with this overarching worldview and my worldview is that uh, there is a sovereign god and that he is not phased by corona but that he is sovereignly in control and if anything as c.s lewis said um, god sometimes uses uh, suffering as a loud hailer to get our attention and so in this one, it was kind of, I entitled it, Who Can Be Saved? And the truth is that all of us, all of us are invited to be saved. And, um, and I just love that idea. And so even in this time, uh, you see that ocean of different colors that the boat is resting on and hovering over. Uh, and all these refugees looking up to that angel, at least they can see him and they are aware. And I think it's really key at this point to begin to be agents, if you like, of hope, of um, confidence that God is good and be able to just uh, share that with people whose confidence, who are maybe a little bit insecure, who don't know God, who don't know His amazing love, who don't know His incredible promises. 
Uh, I mean, I had the privilege this morning of going paddling with my eldest son out to the bellboy before the lockdown. And um, it was just amazing to be on the open ocean, the whole world collectively focused on this one enemy, Corona. Uh, and yet there we were just afloat and just beautifully um, uh, united together as a father and a son, uh, thanking God for his amazing creation, thanking him that is in control. And uh, so I just wanted to begin these uh, live broadcasts and i'll begin to go through different works and what they've done and meant to me and uh, what they've helped me through i mean coming back to this piece which i called conversations at sea which was essentially um not knowing you know where my next income was going to come from and i'm sure many of you are probably thinking how on earth are we going to survive shut down lockdown for this amount of time and i want to say that whether there's no money or lots of money, God is uh, in control and all things do work out. Uh, I just read a, a lovely little quote that someone sent, which was um, uh, similar to the, the butterfly <laughs> that spends a lot of time in darkness in its cocoon. In this, uh, in this period, there's also that season where we are we're changing. I think the whole world is changing and... Uh, God willing, what comes out um, will have an amazing beauty about it. And I believe it will. I believe this is going to give the earth and the world a massive shake-up and a chance to uh, reset in a way. But don't be afraid. God does provide um, in incredible ways. And I'm not only talking financially. I'm talking about friendships, relationships, uh, health, just incredible ways. And He's good, so you can trust Him. Anyway, I'm just going to leave it there. I did make another sculpture, but I don't have a sculpture in the studio to show you that came from this. But you'll see in the on my Facebook page, you will see the um, there's an image of the sculpture that arrived from this. So these this body of work was called Conversations at Sea, and uh, just lovely that you can join me this morning. Uh, keep an eye out on my website. I'll be posting the next picture and what it meant and where it was birthed from, and hopefully it'll give you some encouragement and some entertainment in these uh, isolated days. Great. Have a fantastic day further. Keep safe. Wash your hands. Bye.